Good, getting internet. Helps if I move the microphone close to my face again. Uh, it's been a week since I've last recorded one of these. How are you doing? I'm, I am not doing well to put it mildly, but I wanted to keep playing. And if I want to play more, that means I need to record more. So here we are. Um, some things to quickly go over. Uh, so first off, our tech is now one tech a turn. It's actually slightly more than one tech a turn. So our t cost is sixty two ninety five. I know it's kind of hard to read that tiny font, but it's sixty two ninety five, and the tech per turn is sixty eight twenty nine and a half. So we will very slowly be getting more than one tech per turn, which would make a lot more difference if there weren't only four tech left in the game. Um, <laughs> before we start going into the infinite techs. Um, we can also see what other factions are researching. So Guy is currently researching um, Centauri Meditation. They've gotten halfway through one of the tracks, at least. Uh, Gang looks roughly equivalent on tech. Um, probably slightly better than Gaia, but Guy has been quite focused on things. Morgan didn't even research a single conquest tech, which explains a few things. Um... The Spartans researched almost nothing, but no, um, didn't do the greatest either. Believers still haven't caught up with either the Spartans or Morgan yet, or uh, actually they're probably about the same as Morgan. And the Peacekeepers, on the other hand, are actually doing really well on technology for an AI. I mean, they're doing strictly better than the Gaians, and if the AI traded back and forth a little more often, they'd probably be doing fairly well. But you'll notice that their tech per turn is only 242. The Gaians are a little under 50. This is the problem. The Gaians never really expanded. And lol did. So that's what it boils down to. That's why it's taking Gaians 18 turns to do a tech and lol 9. Anyway, other things that we can go through. We can actually see our various budgets. Currently, we are making 81, or sorry, not we, um, the Peacekeepers are making 81 a year. We are losing 488 a year. You can even see over here which bases are taking up the most amount of money. So, that's hardly surprising. Uh, and the total maintenance costs for various things. Like, our 29 th tree farms are costing us 87 credits per year, which is the highest. Never knew the Thermocline transducer doesn't cost anything. Interesting. So yeah. Um, also in here, current things that are being worked on for every base. You can actually see what everybody else is working on. Guy is making a fusion planet buster because... So the AI wants to build planet busters to project military force, not because they're going to use them. Uh, and the Gaians have actually already lost a Planet Buster, I found out. You can see that the UN Headquarters is actually in a uh, Golden Age, which is nice. Uh, yeah, it looks like they have a decently high amount of psych output, and that's the reason why. Um, Golden Age in a couple of places, but they're mostly building military units, which is not the greatest for them. And that's probably part of the reason why they're not doing so great. Um, secret projects, these don't change for reference on a per person basis. I would really like to take UN headquarters so I can get these three secret projects. I may try to do that before the end of the game. Don't know. Satellites. So this is something that I wanted to mention. So we're about halfway through my goal on the orbital power transmitters and a little under halfway on hydroponics labs. We're going to start building Nessus mining stations as well, but I wanted to just try to finish the power transmitters first because that's going to be a little faster in helping. Uh, Security Nexus, you can actually see what units we've lost and or gained, um, or how many we have in production slash active and how many that are lost. So we've actually lost eight mine twarms, uh, four spore launchers, but not really a whole bunch else. Um, Gaians, on the other hand, have, here it is, lost a planet buster. 
So the only way that you lose a planet buster, or the only two ways that I can see the AI losing a planet buster without it going boom, would be either one, they tried to move it to a location and couldn't reach it, which I don't know why the AI would do that, or more likely two, it ended up getting used as defense. <laughs> ah. But the thing I wanted to point out was score. So the reason why I was saying before that I'm running up the score is this. Look at how much of my score is coming from population. It's 669 points, whereas Gaians are 285, and the Peacekeepers, even though the Peacekeepers have a higher overall population, are 91. Um, I think the reason for this... I don't actually know the reason. Now that I think about it. Peacekeepers should have a much higher population score. What the heck? Anyway, um, all I'm trying to do is shove that population score as high as I can. Secret projects are going to be there, regardless of whether I want them to be or not. Um, commerce score. Commerce score is going to be higher the more allies you have. We have a fair number of allies, so our commerce score is pretty high. I think it's actually one point per point of trade or something like that. Technology score is going to be what it is because we're going to have a lot of extended technology shall we say and yeah that's basically score because i'm only playing on talent difficulty i think percentage wise this is probably like a 75 percent score if this was transcend this would be a 259 percent so anyway let's actually get to taking a turn oh i wanted to look at the oh Production that's not good how could a perfect god create a universe filled with so much that is evil? They have missed a greater conundrum. Why would a perfect god create a universe at all? Sister Miriam Godwinson, but for the grace of God. Yeah, Miriam's going to be getting creepier and creepier with her quotes. Uh, let's go. Damn it. I keep wanting to use the scroll wheel for that. That's why you keep seeing me zoom in the background. So yeah, we can now control Singularity. Singularity is being a black hole. So our power plants are... I mean, we already had Singularity reactors. This is different. It also allows us to build a Singularity inductor, which gives us a quantum converter in every base and reduces the ecological effects of mineral production. If I remember right, it reduces it by one per quantum conductor converter. I keep saying conductor. All right, we've got two techs remaining. The one on the left is defense and is required for the threshold of transcendence, which is the last tech before going off into the infinite. And the one on the right gives us the best weapon in the game. We're going to go with the one on the right for no good reason. Golden age begun. All right, we have build half complex, which means that you're getting hab dome. Production complete. You need Hap Complex and Hap Dome. And this time, I'm actually going to remember to make this into a template. Ah, my microphone cable's on top of my keyboard. I'm going to call this the interstitial update, which I template, which I may have misspelled. Production complete. Just because it's easier to load that way. Um, okay. So what do we want to do now? We want to build colony pods in all sorts of places because that's the other way that we accelerate our technology, uh, yeah, our population growth. It's because the more colonies we have, each colony is increasing population by one per turn. So increase the number of colonies we have, not just allowing pop uh, centers to grow on their own. So we're going to be seeing a lot more bases soon. And let's see. Uh, how are we doing on production of things? So self-aware colony is in eight turns. Honestly, I think I might want to go with a different one at this point. Yeah. Project I want... Initiated. No, that's right. Space elevator needs to go into a base, specific type of base. Um, Singularity inductor is probably a better one for us. Project initiated. Although, 
perhaps we should be going over here to do that. Um, let's see, best bases. Let's sort by energy. Yeah, you are going to be the one to build a space elevator. Yep. Wait. Oh, I have it on energy and not lab output. I was like, why is there a believer base up at the top? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's the best of the old believer bases, but it's not a good base. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do lock. start fungusing things again. <laughs> go to Zvabni, Zvabni, Zvabni. Bot recovered. I was actually hoping for a fungal settle boom. Uh, you need to heal. Road. Road. More roads, more fungus. Potato, potato. You are going to mine that spot. Don't mind the patrolling things. Okay. Drop shard behemoth. Um... So this is what a mini tank does, or a hover tank. Uh, it has three movement instead of two movement. And it's something that I didn't actually mention before. For some reason, I think it just slipped my mind. But basically the way certain units work is that some units... Here, let me just open up a one of these. Um, so some chassis types will attack once and their turn will end. That includes foil, cruiser, needle jet, and grav ship. And technically missiles, but they get lost when they attack. So those ones you can attack once, and then all of your movement is gone. Your turn is over. The ones that can attack more than once are copters, hover tanks, speeders, and infantry. And yes, infantry can attack more than once if they have more than one movement. There are two ways. Pardon me. There are two ways in the game to get more than one movement. Um, the first is to produce an elite unit. An elite unit gets an extra movement point. Uh, regardless of what the chassis type is, although I don't know if you can have elite missiles. The second way, I don't know if I have this ability yet. I think I do. Yeah, anti-grav struts. Um, anti-grav struts will actually give you plus one movement on its own, which means that you can actually make a hover tank with anti-grav struts, and it has four movement. And if it happens to also be elite, especially if you happen to make it high morale, then it will have five movement. And that's really nice. In reality, what you want to do instead is that you want drop pods on them. That allows you to drop them in place and immediately move afterward, because that is something else that if you have... Movement after you attack, you can also have movement after you drop. So, that's nice. Um, this is the reason why choppers are so ridiculously powerful. Because, take a look at a copter. Copters, for singularity copters at least, before we do that, have 14 movement. So, if you are within, like, say, three squares of what you're attacking, you can attack 11 times in one turn. As long as you have enough hit points, you're fine. Um, one thing that base smack didn't do is allow you to have anti-grav struts on air units. It always had this description here, where it would be plus reactor times two for air. It just didn't work. And it just never allowed... Or, it's not that it didn't work, it's that it didn't allow you to actually assign it to an air unit. That is one of the things that the PRACX mod actually fixes. Is that from PRACX? That might be just from an unofficial patch. But anyway, that's an obvious bug. And eh, we're still again. Um, okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, right. Um, Copters. I want to upgrade these. Like that. 
because the more movement on copters, the more powerful they are. So, oh, I um, wanted to see the graph. Yep, we're starting to go asymptotic here. That's fairly typical for me. Um, we have the ability to do orbital insertions now. So you will notice that I can drop this wherever I want on the map. So, for instance, I can decide to take this unit and drop it in the middle of Peacekeeper territory if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm trying to be a nice person. But what I actually want to do is start dropping it like here. Resources. See? Sure, I ended up getting a little bit of damage, but it's fine. Nutrient resources. That actually looks like a really good spot for a colony. Uh, speaking of, our drop colony pods are going to be a lot better now that we can do orbital insertions. Um, we should start building colonies. What is our crappiest nutrient place? It's Gamma Sector. That's a new base. No wonder it's so crappy. And that's still t plus 10, so... Um, okay. I'm trying to find a spot that doesn't have... Yeah, you're going to be doing that for a while. Maybe I should cool off on the hydroponics labs and start doing... Yeah, let's cool off on those, and we're going to just start massively making drop colony pods. Every turn, new drop colony pod. Unfortunately, you can't build more than one unit a turn in smack. Okay. Fungus. All right, this unit has finished bringing a, um, whatchamacallit, um, alien artifact. So we're going to pick up another alien artifact from somewhere. Do we have any just lying around? Not at the moment. That may not have been a good idea now that I just did it. Um, let's see. We have... No. Fungus. Everything is fungus. Everything is fungus. Yeah. Um, you know what? I don't really need you there anymore. You're going to go back to home. Because while, yes, there's forest there, and I could replant the forest as fungus, there's not really a reason to in my mind. Are there any drop pods in the water nearby you? No. No, there are not. Let's go up there and pick them up. You can't move. And I'm zoomed in. I can tell from the way zoom works in this game. Uh, you should wait. Indigenous life form. Of course. Uh, Gagrin Memorial, we should actually start looking at trying to... So... Fungus gives us how much in the way of resources right now? That's really hard to tell because I don't have any fungus over here. Um, where's my closest? Oh, this will work. Um, three, three, four is fungus. So anything in this space, I actually specifically want to start fungusing things. And because this that's my base that's um, best for research. So fungus is going to help quite a bit in that regard.
Time travel, in the classic sense, has no place in rational theory. But temporal distortion does exist on the quantum level, and more importantly, it can be controlled. Academician Prokhor Zaharov, for I have tasted the fruit. Ah, uh, yes. Increased energy production in fungus, so that's going to help quite a bit. Um, also, temporal mechanics, because why not? You need to go back to sleep. Oh, right, you're dropping colony pods everywhere. This is the last of my ships that will be doing this. Um, you're going to be plunking a base there. Or more precisely, you're probably going to be plunking the base there. Uh, which means here is safe. There's a colony bud. And let's throw one more over in this area. Like here. And ideally, I would put a base here, but unfortunately, that currently has fungus on it, and you can't build a base on top of fungus. Actually, up here might not be the worst idea, because there's lots of fungus there. But yeah, we'll do it there. Indigenous life form. Numb? No numb. Defeat? Defeat. Money. Um, you're going to be holding there. You're going to be holding. You need healing. Bot recovered. Alien artifact. That sounds great. Um, you're going to be secondary. You're actually going to stay out there. So, Clantier actually gave me an idea. You've already been linked, right? It says it hasn't been. Okay. To understand a thing is to know the manner by which it might be destroyed. A fundamental understanding of the basic building blocks of the universe is essential then to the total destruction of everything. Foreman Demai, one tool, one thought. Not really sure why Demai wants to destroy everything, but you know. Whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, this is basically we're going to take string theory and destroy everything. Which means that threshold of transcendence is the only thing we can research. We don't have much longer in this game. Which is sad. I like doing the weird stuff at end of game. Um, I wanted you to come down here. Though you're currently working on that. Come down here. Come on. There we go. Can I fight you? Yes. I can even win. Okay. Okay, you've been raised up now, which means I can start fungusing you to death. Although in this case, I don't particularly want to fungus in jungle, because jungle gives four food at that point for a maxed out tree farm, and fungus is three food. But I'm also not going to bother removing fungus, because why? You're done. Um... You should go to Water to Wine. You should start planting things because I'm trying to help. Bot recovered. I was hoping for better pods. Life form. You need to sit there for a turn. Bot recovered. Money. Bot recovered. Money. Indigenous life form. Two? No, the top one's been damaged. Weird. No, oh, money. Um, okay, you need to go to an unlinked node. Closest unlinked node is Gamma Sector, so that's Turn where you're complete. going. 
all the way up there, of course. And turn is complete. Um, can we buy anything? No, you've just started that. Insufficient energy. Although you're not too far off of being able to buy that. Um, we also need to start working on more. Yeah, we need to finish up our secret projects. And that means that you should probably be the one doing the singularity inductor because it's only going to take you eight turns. Whereas it's going to take 10 turns in New Azramus. So you're going to switch over to Dream Project Twister. Initiated. Academic Rock, you're going to stop making Sky Hydroponics Labs. And instead, you are going to self aware, self -aware Colony. Planetary Archives, you're working on Colony Pods. University base, you've got things. We're going to change those things over to... Um, why not? It's... Nah, we'll do clinical immortality. Okay. And just to make sure... Yeah, our economy is 0%. Yeah, I'm going to lose that one, aren't I? Oh, I didn't. Combat report. And when he has that. brought forth and reared this perfect virtue, he shall be called the friend of God. And if ever it is given to man to put on immortality, it shall be given to him. Plato, the Symposium, Data Links. All right. So we are at. That is the final tech of the game. Um. So threshold of transcendence is. Entering a new era of humanity. Um, think cult. Like selling off all of your possessions and going, well, we're going to be risen by the gods themselves. Only we're actually going to do it. Um, this is the tech victory in Smack. And it's time for Transcendent Thought. Production complete. So Transcendent Thought 1. There is an infinite number of transcendent thought, although I'm sure there's an actual practical cap because it's probably an unsigned integer, but it keeps going and going and going forever and ever and ever. We are going to shift our economy at this point to all money. Oh, yeah. To all money. Even though that's going to slow down our research, it's only down to nine turns, even though we have nothing assigned to labs because I want to start buying up secret projects. Um, I kind of want to give Port Yang back because it's a really crappy base. At the same time, bases are always going to be useful for us as long as they're not at like 99% inefficiency or something. <sighs> really wanted to take the hive. That would have been so much better, but I would have needed to have gone from here and bunny hop down here, which I could have done, but the moment an AI surrenders, if you say no to their surrender, they will never surrender again, and they will fight to the bitter end. I don't even think they're willing to um, surrender, or uh, willing to blood truce. This is still such a crappy city. Hold on a moment. Let's science this. So currently, points-wise, I have 720. Pretty forgotten the name of that. That's Port Yang. Terraform complete. And we have 720. Maybe it only counts at start of turn. That's possible. All right. We are going to start building that way. We've got our copters that are no oh yeah, speaking of our copters, we need to Did I ever apply? Insufficient energy. Oh right, it's not I did apply, it's just the fact that it's a prototype. Um but we're switching you over to a string disruptor because 
big guns. Um, we do need to prototype the big thing. Wait, you're only a Chaos Cruiser? Yeah, we should just upgrade things that are far behind. Okay, so this is the thing that I want to be like this. Okay, um, what special abilities do I want on this? I want clean, because always clean. And I think that's it for right now, because this is going to be our schmuck bait. Actually, we're not even going to make it clean. Just going like that. It is everything that we need to finish the final prototype. Once this prototype is done, we no longer need to prototype things. Or we might need to prototype missiles, technically, but eh, nobody cares about missiles. Um, Let's be honest. If we're going to go to war, it's going to be against LOL. Which means that I want this in a location that's close to LOL. So, here. It'll take damage on the way. It's fine. Alright, I think you might actually be done with this area. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. But I am seeing this spot. Can't make it there this turn, apparently. Um, pod? Monolith. Okay. Don't really need a monolith in the middle of nothing. But maybe I'll plop down a base in here, actually. It's not the worst idea. Fungus. Fungus. Why do I have you building that? Oh, well. We're just going to drop you someplace that's useful. Um, one of our newer bases. Gamma Sector. See, this is why I like having drop formers, by the way. Delta Sector is there. You have a pretty good start, although you'll notice that um, monoliths actually produce less than fungus now, which is just funny. Um, we want you to land one. Epsilon sectors there. We want you to land one. Actually, wait, we want you to coastal one. And coastal one has been altered where it's now doing all hab. We should upgrade this as well. Um, recycling tanks, hab, and hab complex. So by the way, if you're wondering why I'm clicking out and back in, it's because where you click on in the queue, the game will give you what base facilities are available based on what is ahead of that point in the queue, which is why I'm able to get a hab complex and a hab dome in the same queue. Otherwise, it doesn't let you. I did not actually save. There we go. Okay. Heal. Fungus. Terraform complete. Oh, that's a lot of boreholes in one turn. Um, speaking of, we should probably be building more things. Um. Uh... Honestly, I think it might be time for this base to, or this unit to go elsewhere. Um, we're going to upgrade you to a drop former. Green alien artifact, that's nice. Uh, let's just complete that road connection between our bases. Um, locusts. Oh, before I do that, 
wanted to check and you'll notice that he walked on water is now looking like one of our bases so if we go into the psych profile it's now labeled as unmodified instead of captured base like say unification cavern so after a certain number of turns i'm not actually sure how many i think it's 50 but i don't actually know no not crate i just noticed that we have an extra perimeter defense so we're going to scrap that uh it's because it comes free with yang's territory and we have a secret project that's doing it for us. Um, we are going to position you at Mirror Lab. We're going to continue having you go after pods. More fungus. Pod recovered. I certainly don't mind seeing rivers Pod because recovered. this is an area that I'm probably going to colonize. sleep <laughs> you are going to tube out to climactic research you are going to sleep so you can heal up you're gonna bonk that thing indigenous life forms nom you're going to move to beta sector you so this is the thing the creator had mentioned is that one of the actions that you can actually do is that you can turn over unit control and it will actually release it into the wild which means that i can fight oh wait just recaptured never mind um normally you could just fight them that way so it's a way of getting rid of spore launchers basically but uh that didn't work <laughs> i shouldn't be too surprised i guess Let's go that way. Honk. Wait for more bonks. There we go. Uh, let's see. You just finished. Just automate. Um, I think I can take you out. Yes. May not be able to take out the next one, though. You are finished. Okay. Um, where do I need more sea former stuff at? Is there anywhere near here that I need a sea former? Not really, actually. My sea forming is pretty much done in this region. Even that's finished. So I guess you're gonna go down to the hope. And you're also going to the Hope. We're just going to have you go to Hope. All right. You are upgrading to Drop Formers. You're already Drop Formers, so that's nice and easy. Um, we're going to remove your Formers. You don't actually need them at all. Actually, yeah, okay. Um, honestly, you probably should have just funkist that, but oh well. You are going to go... Did not mean to zoom out that far. You're going to go, I don't know... You're going to go to here. And you are going to queue up a cruiser pod. So I can build a city in water. Pod recovered. Nutrient pod. resources. Useless. Utterly useless ag pod. We don't need agriculture. We need fungus. Oh, that's my phone telling me that I should start winding down for the night, which I will after this recording is done, so in about 20 minutes. Um, honestly, you probably don't need two formers either now. 
You definitely don't need a super former at the end. I don't know what's up with that. Life. Numb? Ooh, barely numb. Um, you need to go to the closest unlinked node. That is... Uh, he walked on water? Really? Okay. Indigenous life forms. Numb? Uh, a little close. All right, and everywhere else has been taken care of. So you're gonna go to, I guess hope actually. If you're wondering why I'm saving often, it's because the game starts getting a little crash happy at this point. Fungus. You should have fungus that tile, but oh well. Um, oh yeah, these tiles should not be fungused. Because, again, you don't get the resources from a tile, like the nutrient resources, energy resources, or mineral resources, unless if you have something other than fungus on it. Project initiated. Okay. So, two things. First off, um, Lull was trying to tell us something, and I don't know what. He might be trying to get rid of our peace treaty because he realizes I'm at the end of game. or And two, we apparently still have too much eco damage. But on the plus side, it's producing things Production that we like, complete. fungus. Unfortunately, That's it's also population. producing things we don't like, which are native life forms to kill us. Yeah, you're going to load in interstitial. Production complete. You don't even need this. Improvement already exists. Ah. Fungus already exists there. I just need to raise up that tile. Terraform complete. Alright, we have tubed all the way. Three one three. Fungus is actually better than anything else that we can do here. Um you're going to upgrade. Terraform complete. You need to go to a base so I can upgrade you. Or so I can drop you. <laughs> You're going to go Unification Cavern. Eternity lies ahead of us and behind. Have you drunk your fill? Lady Deidre Sky, Conversations with Planet, Epilogue. That is the quote for every single transcendent thought. So yeah, um, technically we can just rush the end of the game right now. Um, we would actually win this video. I'm not going to, I'm wanting to build all the rest of the secret projects first. So... You're going to notice that I'm going to be doing a lot of things that don't necessarily make sense right now. Fungus. 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 You have fungus. Um... You are surrounded by fungus already. Uh, I guess you're going to go to Fisher of Men. Fungus. When in doubt, fungus. Fungus. Told you, it's the same quote every time. So I'm just not going to have it play the quote. Oh, save a little bit of time. 
Let's try this whole... Uh, turn over control. Yes, now it's actually attacking. There we go. We got money from our own unit. That's not very nice of us, but we got it anyway. Terraform complete. You know, I made all of these random boreholes on the edge of the map. I don't know if we're ever going to use any of them. Um, just go to the nearest base. Terraform complete. Nom. It's not very nice of me to nom my own things like that, but oh well. Pod recovered. Sonar pod. Oh, what's in this unit? A lot of military and a colony pod. Okay. Gaia, what are you doing to Miriam? Uh, you're not at war. In fact, your data links, oh, that's the data links profile, says that you have a truce with Miriam. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to see what Lol wanted. All right, Raffle Lol. I don't care that you have a planet buster. Yeah, you don't actually want to do anything. Okay. Um... Improvement already exists. Fine. Solar. Fungus. Sleep. Sleep. Bot recovered. Um, more monoliths, yay. Bonk. Oops, did not mean to do that. Um, I don't even know what to do with this unit. Just live in fungus for a while. Sure, why not? Turn complete. Okay. Um, it's time to finish up some secret projects. Dream Twister is going Three to be cheap. Confirmation. Um, so that is 4 times 7 is 28. So minus 128 off of that. That is 748. Okay. We have a lot of money, by the way. Um, next up, all the rest of you, I'm going to be eating a penalty on, aren't I? Request confirmation. Yeah. Can make the eco damage so much worse by doing that. I think the rest I might need to wait a turn, which sucks. I don't want to wait a turn. You're done next turn. You're done next turn. I can hold, hurry you. Nope, not change. Hurry. Request confirmation. Sure. Don't care. 
Anybody else building hab things? Uh, you're done next turn. Uh, you're done next turn. You're not. Request confirmation. You're not. Request confirmation. When in doubt, hab. Request confirmation. Hab. Request confirmation. Also something that we should build are some defense satellites. So defense satellites will prevent things like um, planet Request busters from going off. As if each defense satellite has a 50-50 shot of destroying one at Request a cost of itself. But we don't really care about that. I would much rather Request have a defense satellite go away than have multiple cities of mine go away. I mean... Makes sense, right? Request confirmation. Request confirmation. Yeah, we are trying our darndest to max out population. Request confirmation. Just think, I have had way more cities than this before. Request confirmation. I'm actually being a little less ambitious when it comes to maxing out my cities this game I still have lots of money let's go ahead and buy one of these let's do the stupid one why not okay so 78 times 4 so 75 times 4 is 300 so 3 times 4 is 12 so it's 312 um, that's going to be 1736. I'm still actually going to have some left over, so I'm going to throw in orbital defense pod. Let's go. And you are going to have a Nessus mining station. I want to hear all of the quotes. Turn complete. Oh, that is an event that can happen. That you just lose something like that. That's annoying. Yep. Now it's time for us to get attacked a bunch. Yeah. What the hell? Why did you attack? Eternity lies. So plot-wise, um, that final transmission from Assassin's Redoubt is from the Gaians attacking with a mind swarm, mind worm swarm, their first attack. Yup, creepy. <laughs> What actually transpires beneath the veil of an event horizon? Decent people shouldn't think too much about that. Academician Prokhor Zaharov, for I have tasted the fruit. Yep, Zach's going a little crazy too. Alright, so this is the point where we start doing massive amounts of eco damage, but our production just starts skyrocketing. complete. I mean, this is a random base that we built a while ago, and it has almost as much production as the bases that we were d building secret projects in last turn. So, buckle up. Um, you are at Coastal 2, I believe. Uh, you're going drop colony pod. 
make sure that these actually exist. They do. Okay. So yes, and we are going to save this template as Coast 2 because we specifically want the drop colony pods. Production complete. You are habdoming. Production complete. You are habdoming. Oh, you've already habdomed. Okay. You're actually coastal too. Production complete. You have domed, which means, are you coastal too? Or have you advanced further? No, you're coastal too. No, you're technically not coastal. You're sea. What does C2 look like? I've already forgotten. C2. Oh, you still have hab stuff on here. Ugh. We're just going to use Coastal 2 instead. It's close enough. Complete. You have hab domed, which means you are Coast 2. Production complete. Hab complex, which means you need a hab dome. Yeah, production we're going to have complete. way more production compared to before. So let's look at our best base, which is Academic Rock. Our production is now 107, or 108, and we are doing 31 eco damage a turn. Not great on the eco damage front. We're going to have a lot of pops, but we don't have that many turns left of the game, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. And maybe it is. Anyway, um... Okay, let's have you go back to Fungusing. You have a Fusion Sea Former. Oh, um, something I forgot to mention. So one of my favorite types of Formers are actually Grav Ship Formers. And unfortunately, they're very expensive. You can see they cost 60 as opposed to 60. Well, 60 as opposed to 30 more because it's super former and clean so cost 60 grab ship version costs 120 um quantum cheaper yes so quantum it'd be 100 anyway um the reason why i like them is that you can use sky base formers on both water and land the only problem is that they can't raise or lower terrain which is really weird um, I'm not going to bother building them, building them this game because we don't really need them. Uh, just like I didn't bother building cruiser formers this game because we don't really need them. All right, you have done that. You're going to fungus. Build Zeta Sector, load C1. Fungus. Doink. Let's give up that spore launcher. Or the money. All right, and that's the last colony pod in the north. It's probably the last sea colony pod outside of the ones that I'm already working on. How do you go down there? You'll probably not even reach it by end of game. Oh, there's actually more sea colony pods over here. I just saw them. Yeah, that's likely for you to actually reach this game. Fungus. You also notice I've stopped making roads. There's not much of a reason to. Um, I guess. Oh yeah. Lots more transcendent thought. You see why I didn't even bother with science. I don't need it. 
Okay, we're going to drop you. Where are we going to drop you? You don't really need more formers over there. Ah, that's what the automated former is doing. That's not the worst, but not good. So we'll help that out a bit. Um, you can, honestly, I don't even need this unit anymore. What am I going to do with it? You know what? Disband. It's costing one mineral per turn in a base that I care about. Disband. Um, go down to here, please. You're going to load in Coastal 1. You're just going to sleep there. Have It's useful to have units on standby. Speaking of units on standby, you already moved because you're an idiot. Um, where is my chopper? There you are. Aha. Ah. There we go. Took care of the problem. Um, you have drop pods. We are going to orbital and search you over at... I think Delta Sector actually needs more forming. Meh. That's probably good enough. Get you ready for takeoff next turn. Go to the nearest base. Drop a colony pod. All right, where are we going to colonize this time? We should colonize over here. You know why? It'll piss them off. Honestly, none of these spots make any difference whatsoever. We'll go there. You're done. I'm going to have you move there to the one ocean spot that they can reach. Um, you're done. And everything around you is also done. How about you head over to Mirror Lab? Bot recovered. Fungus. Bot recovered. Free stuff. Nutrient resources. Nutrient resources. You can't do anything else. Oh, wait. There's a pod over there. Okay. Um, pod recovered. Free stuff. Uh, fungus. You're going to sit there. You're going to bonk. Fungus that. Let's fungus some more. Even more. Oh, hey, look, fungus. Who would have thought fungus? Fungus, fungus, fungus. I am at an hour, so this will be the last turn. You're just going to patrol back and forth, game. Why are you slowing down? I still don't need to know about the sensor pod. Um, 
can start patrolling. You need to sleep. You can start patrolling. Turn complete. We are at end of turn, so I am going to end this video here. Hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye.